Um, so Spindog started using social media initially because uh, LinkedIn was something which was around, it was launched and being heavily promoted about the same time as we started as a business. Um, from there we started to uh, move into Facebook and then the, the most recent one being Twitter. Um, so at the start we were a little bit sceptical about Twitter, we, we thought that um, we, we weren't too sure about its uses from a marketing perspective and the amount of time that was needed to be invested but once we saw the benefits from um, of allowing us to communicate with our customers and um, and the, the level of customer service that we could offer through it, um, we, we engaged pretty quickly and got a, a, a business account and um, all the key personnel in the business have their own private accounts as well. From a personal perspective, one of my observations is that a lot of uh, people that follow me and vice versa that I, I follow back are people that either in the same industry compete with me directly on a, on a work level. Um, the barriers are much lower and I think um, it's much more accepted to be able to interact with people in, on, the, on Twitter as a platform as opposed to doing it face-to-face -face, uh, a networking event for example. I appreciate that some people um, approach it with a little bit of care when it comes to what information they post across say so, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter um, but from a personal perspective, I, I find that the benefits and the connections I've made through it are totally outweigh the, the potential negatives. And as long as you're careful with what, what, you, what information you post and, and who you post it to and allow yourself to connect with, I think um, you, know, you reduce the amount of risk dramatically. My name's Liam Giles. I'm Managing Director of Spindogs, a specialist digital marketing agency.